The Rangers take on the Hurricanes, 7 o'clock Eastern, puck drop in Carolina. The Canes are the $1.60 favorite, total at 6.5. We did see a 10 cent fade of Carolina in the early wagering. As they open a buck 70, down to minus 160. Total open and remains at 6.5. 54% of the consensus are leaning toward the Hurricanes, 71% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Rangers are plus a buck 40 on the road here. Carolina plus a buck 55, laying the goal and a half. We have Peter Mrazek for the Canes, Igor Shesterkin for the Rangers. Shesterkin comes into this game with a 7 and 1 record, 228 goals against, and a 939 save percentage. The Rangers, winners of five out of their last six games. They've also gone 19 and 9 against the spread on the road. And of course, when I refer to the spread in the NHL, I'm referring to the puck line. So once again, doing a very good job covering that number. 19-9 ATS when traveling. The Rangers rank in the top 10 in scoring on average per game. They're also 8-2 straight up in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with the Hurricanes. Art Panarin, 30 points, 49 assists. He is plus 30 on the season. Mika Zibanejad, 26 goals, 30 assists for him. And Chris Kreider, 24 goals, 45 points. Kreider is plus 10 when he is on the ice. We're looking at a New York squad who ranks in the top 10 in road scoring as well. Now Carolina on the other side, although they're having a very solid season, they look great in certain spots. Um, not so good against the puck line at home. And as a matter of fact, out of their 30 home games this year, They've covered the puck line in just 13 of them. They've also, like I said earlier, lost eight out of their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with the Rangers. Now, the Rangers are 5-2 and two to the under in their last seven. A lot of unders for these Rangers as of late. I'm going to lean toward New York, plus 1.5, and, and the under 6.5 goals in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out. For Friday's NHL action, happy Friday to you. The weekend is finally here. Thank God it's Friday. I, I, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for today. I'm ready for now. But uh, anyway, guys, before we go ahead and move on, just got to quickly remind you once again to, uh, you know, at least consider checking me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where I do daily premium sports picks on that website, beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. Now, we had four premium picks in play yesterday. We won three of them. Three and one yesterday on a Thursday. Good for 75%. That's going to improve our record to 5-0 and oh in our last five crowd-pleaser teasers. And I know that, uh, you know, I'm lighthearted. Sometimes I joke around on the channel a little bit. Uh, but there's no joke about that. That is dead serious. 5-0 uh, and oh straight up in our last five crowd-pleaser teasers. We also have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that we offer on that website. One of our packages is the college basketball tier. We are 10-3 and three in our last 13 college basketball tier package plays. And even better, we have another one going off tonight. College basketball tier play going off tonight. If you want more information, link for that site is in the description section below. You are not alone if you join. We have over 1,100 members on that website. It's certainly a great time. And once again... That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. If the uh, volume or the sound is a little bit messed up, uh, it's because I'm literally looking right here and I do not have my microphone plugged in. There's the cord, there's the mic, and it's not plugged into the iPad. So sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Red Wings taking on the Islanders. 8 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Long Island. The Islanders are the massive $3 favorite in this one. Total at 5.5. 76% are leaning Islanders. 57% on the over. Right now, the Red Wings are plus 250 on the money line. Islanders minus buck ten, laying the goal and a half. Not a bad price point there. Semyon Varlamov for the Islanders. John Bernier for the Red Wings. Bernier just 13-7-1 on the year. Varlamov on the other side, 255 goals against, 918 save percentage. The Islanders, 18-7-4 as the official home team. They rank the top 10 in goals allowed. Meanwhile, they're giving up just 2.7 goals per contest. Now, they are just eight points behind the, uh, the likes of Washington and Pittsburgh for that third seed in the East. 
So they are right in the mix, very good defensively. Uh, meanwhile, when it comes to the scoring, Brock Nelson, 22 goals, 24 assists. Uh, Barzil and Beauvillier, 18 goals apiece for them. Now, Detroit on the other side, I mean, what can I say? One of the all-time worst teams in the history of the league. Um, they've lost four out of their last five. They rank dead last in scoring on average per game, dead last in goals allowed on average per game, and they are averaging just 1.9 goals per contest when they travel. They are under two goals per contest of scoring away from home. They're just 5.25 and 2 when they travel. Worst team in the NHL, just 34 points on the season. And here's how here's like the just the difference between them and the rest of the pack. Detroit's at 34 points. The next worst team, that's the Kings. Detroit is 15 points behind the Kings. The Kings have 49 points on the season. Detroit, just 34. So they are literally 15 points behind the second-to-worst team in the NHL. That is terrible. Now, Detroit, 7-2-1 and one to the under in their last 10. 21-11 and 11 to the under when they travel. Meanwhile, New York, 4-0 to the over. Uh, I'm sorry, scratch that. 4-0 to the under in their last for themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean Islanders minus one and a half and the under five and a half in that contest. I always joke around about like my CTE, which I legitimately think I have because I played football from the time I was eight up until I was 22 years old. And uh, I, I mix things up. I mix things up. I say under when I should say over sometimes. Today, earlier in the NBA, uh, the NBA video, uh, I said that Denver was in second place in the Eastern Conference. Right behind the Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, just ridiculous. So, guys, sometimes if it, uh, I don't make mistakes often, but if it doesn't sound right, most likely it isn't right. And all you have to do is just comment in the uh, comment section below so we can uh, clarify. But anyway, next game, it is going to be Blues taking on the Stars, 830 Dallas. The Stars are minus 140, totals five and a half. We saw a nickel move toward Dallas in the early wagering. They open a buck 35, up to minus 140. Totals five and a half. 53% are leaning Dallas, 64% on the over. And right now, St. Louis is plus a buck 20 on the money line. Dallas plus two dollars on the puck line. We have Ben Bishop for the Stars, Jake Allen for the Blues. Dallas top three in goals allowed at home, top 10 in offensive shots at home. They are 18, 9, and 2 when they are in the friendly confines. Now, St. Louis on the other side, losers of five out of their last seven. They've also gone just three and seven straight up in their last 10. They rank in the bottom 10 in offensive shots on average per game. Now, three out of St. Louis's last three games stayed under the total. Meanwhile, Dallas 22 and seven to the under on their home ice. I'm going to lean Dallas minus 140 and the under five and a half in that contest. Next game, Predators, Blackhawks, 830 Chicago. The Preds are minus 125, total six and a half, nickel fade of Nashville. They open a buck 30 down to 125, total six and a half, 62% are leaning Nashville, 69% on the under. Chicago's plus a buck, 05 on the money line, Nashville plus 210 on the puck line. Rene for the Preds, Laner for the Blackhawks. Robbie Laner comes into this game with a 301 goals against Chicago, losers of seven out of their last eight. They also rank in the bottom 10 in home scoring, bottom three in shots allowed. The Preds on the other side, winners of three out of their last four. They also rank the top five in offensive shots, top three in road scoring. Now, total-wise, Nashville 20 and 10 to the over when they travel. Chicago 4 and 2 to the over in their last six themselves. I'm going to lean Predators minus a buck and a quarter in the over six and a half in that contest. Next game, Bruins, Flames, 9 o'clock, Calgary. The Bruins are minus 135, total five and a half. We did see a 10 cent fade of Boston in the early going here. They open a buck 45 down to minus 135, totals five and a half. 64% are leaning Boston, 79% shaded toward the over. Right now, Calgary plus a buck 15 on the money line, Boston plus a buck 80 on the puck line. Boston winners of nine out of their last 10. They currently have the most points in the NHL, 88 total points for this Bruins squad. They're 38, 11, and 12 on the year. Meanwhile, Calgary on the other side really struggling to cover that puck line at home. Just 8 and 20, 
um, eight and 21 against the spread at home. So once again, out of their 29 home games, they've successfully covered the puck line in just eight of them. They also rank in the bottom three in goals allowed at home. Now Calgary is six and zero to the over in their last six. A lot of exciting games for them as of late. They're also 18 and 11 to the over on their home ice. I like the road team in this one. Give me Boston minus a dollar 35. And the over five and a half in that contest. Next contest, Wild Oilers, nine o'clock Edmonton. The Oilers open a buck ten up to minus 115. Total open six flat down the five and a half. 72% are leaning Oilers, 78% on the over. Minnesota's minus 105 on the money line. Edmonton four and two straight up in their last six, 15, nine and five at home. Meanwhile, the Wild bottom five in offensive shots, bottom five in goals allowed on the road. Two out of Minnesota's last three got over the number. They're also 16 and 12 to the over when they travel. Meanwhile, Edmonton 19 and 10 to the over on their home ice. Give me the Oilers minus a buck 15 and the over five and a half in that game. Next and final contest, Colorado, Anaheim, 10 o'clock Eastern puck drop at the pond. Colorado's minus 160 on the road, total six flat. Avalanche top three in scoring in this NHL. I like Colorado minus a buck 60. And the over six goals in that game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.